Hi there, handbaggers, and welcome to the Duck's Nest. This is the Military Mom, and in this video, I am going to share the outfit and the bag of the day, and then we are going to talk about a silhouette that I have finally decided needs to leave the Duck's Nest. And uh, yeah, I'll share my thoughts when we get to the bag, but let's go ahead and take a look at the outfit. So this is a dress that my younger sister bought for me. It's a sheath style with a boat line neckline with a keyhole detail and then these three quarter length bell sleeves and the length of this dress stops right above my knee and even though i have skirts and dresses that stop right above the knee i'm always a little uncomfortable when i sit down in them because as we all know when you sit down in a skirt or a dress that has a shorter hemline, it tends to ride up even more. That makes me uncomfortable, you all, because the Holy Spirit has convicted me about modesty. And I'm just like everybody else. In my younger years, I wore short shorts and short skirts and went to the beach and overexposed myself. But um, like I said, um, the Holy Spirit has made me realize that as a woman of the Christian faith, I'm not supposed to be exposing myself like that. So when I do wear the skirts that are a little shorter or the dresses that, you know, are a little shorter in length, I make sure I sit over in the corner so I'm not constantly, you know, like trying to pull my dress down to feel more comfortable. So the reason that I chose this dress is because of the bell sleeves. You all, yesterday it was 97 degrees with the same forecast for today and i'm like I, I can't be bothered i have to wear something that's cool and the bell sleeves allow air to flow and i love the neckline um because it doesn't plunge but it's not you know high anyway the bag right so the first bag i thought about carrying is this one my beautiful may shoulder bag by coach because I just wanted a simple black bag um, because I wore a pair of black slingbacks and then my earrings. And then you'll see black throughout the print, right? So I wanted to pull it all together with a black bag, but you all, this is a shoulder bag. And because of these bell sleeves, yeah, I was just like, that's too much. I don't wanna have to deal with it. So, the other bag that I pulled out was the same way. I don't even know why I pulled it out, but this is my Coach Duffel from the 1941 collection with the link details. Again, just a simple black bag, but yeah, I don't want to have to deal with the whole sleeve thing, right? So the bag that I ended up carrying, very simple black bag, my Suki crossbody by Dooney and Burke in Safiano leather in black Safiano and I actually changed out the strap to a shorter strap I think this belongs to one of my coach bags I think my Georgie and yeah just really simple easy to access my phone not that I access my phone in church but let me just show you what Suki's holding there's a gift card in the back slip I've got my wallet, I've got my glasses case, my keys are down there in the corner, and then this is a boxy coach cosmetic case, which honestly, you all, is too large for this bag, but I carried this cosmetic case in a bag that I carried yesterday, and I was like, you know, I don't even want to think about it. I'm just throwing it inside Suki, and we're going to church, <laughs> and that's what happened. Just a really simple black bag. So, speaking of simplicity... You all who follow my channel or who drop by occasionally um, may remember that I did a big purge of my collection and I made a commitment to myself that when I got new bags in, I would transition bags out because at one point, you all, I had over 300 bags and I got to the point where all those bags, even though they were fun to collect, they were causing me stress. They were getting on my nerves. Um, I had to figure out how to store them. I had to care for them, you know, like leather conditioning. And then I had to figure out, okay, which of these bags am I going to carry today? It was just too much. 
Um, and when I was in the house in Ohio, I had tons of, of storage space. I had a full basement. I kept my bags in the basement, so I wasn't worried about storage. But when I moved into the apartment, again, I had ample storage space because I had a whole room dedicated to my bags. In this house here in Florida, I decided that I was not going to dedicate an entire room to my bags because this is my craft room. And it was either going to be three things. It was going to be my handbag room. It was going to be my craft room or it was going to be a hybrid. And let me tell you all, I have a lot of paint. I have a lot of dye-based ink and I did not want that anywhere near my bags. So I decided to keep my bags in my master bedroom, which has nice storage space, but it's limited. It's not, you know, a whole room. So I was like, okay, you've got to do something downsize. And you know what? To be honest with you, all of the bags that I have transitioned out of the duck's nest, I really don't miss them. In fact, I'm probably going to do another purge. I'm not going to say I'm going to get down to like 20 bags, but the bags that I'm going to end up with will probably be bags that I am more prone to carry. And the bag that I am not carrying that I'm going to get, um, I don't want to say get rid of, but I'm going to transition out is this one. And you all know that Dooney and Burke is my handbag hearts. And if there is a flagship bag, it is the iconic Dooney and Burke satchel. I love everything about this bag, you all, but I never carry it. In fact... At one point, I had 11 of them, and I'm down to two. The one I just showed you, and this one. And the reason that I love this one is the color combination, and the whip stitching just pops on this bag. I love the look of this bag. And this one is because I love Dooney and Burke's signature. They're both in the small sizes. They were all in the small sizes. Um, but what I realized is I was, I had the, what I call the coach rogue syndrome. I was collecting these bags, but not carrying them. And I'm going to show you why, but first let me show you how it looks on. Oh my goodness. Is that not a gorgeous silhouette? This bag is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I'm going to tell you how Dooney ruined it for me. First of all, I don't carry a lot. And even with the small size, this bag is, is really too large for what I carry. But this is what made me decide to get rid of all my bags. Is how Dooney decided to terminate the zipper. They could have elongated the zipper or they could have made it a breakaway zipper. But Dooney didn't do that. And it just makes it um, deep. And then I have to root around in this bag, even with the interior organization, to find my stuff. I got rid of another bag, um, my Michael Kors duffel, Cara duffel. I love the look of that bag. She was so cute. She was in rose gold patent leather. But every time I went into that bag, I spent way more time than I needed to trying to find my stuff. So I stopped carrying Kara, just like I stopped carrying these. And I think of the two, I carry this one more than the signature, but even this one, um, even this one, I haven't carried in like two years, seriously. So again, it's just one of those silhouettes that's sitting on my shelf. And I'm looking at it. It's taking up space. I'm not carrying it. It's got to go. As much as I love the look. And the funny thing is, I love to carry this bag. I don't like to go into it. So what's the, what's the point, right? So yeah, I've decided that my iconic, my last um, two that I was holding on to, hoping I would carry them. It was an experiment that did prove that this is just not my silhouette so yeah she's going to be leaving the duck's nest so i think that is all that i wanted to share with you all 
Thank you so much for dropping by. And as always, happy carrying.